Hey, hello everyone. Guys, today we'll be discussing about routing user pages. And by the way, I'm using Docker 6. Let me run this web page. In this application, we'll quickly uh, to see what does it do. So here is this default web application. It has two pages, it has privacy page. As you can see by default, this route points to privacy, which is the CF estimate page, if you can see. Uh oh, sorry, here it is. This is our privacy.cshtml. So by, by default, our route is URL, then a page name. Now, if somebody has the requirement to change the URL to one, the very basic way to do is add an override route here. Let's say I want to do it using test. So let me do a quick reload. And you should see the privacy has stopped working. It should work with test now. Voila. So let's say you want to have a very big URL. If you want to override an existing page, let's say previously it was privacy.cstx, then it should also work. See, this has stopped working. It has worked. Voila. This is one way. Another way is in your program.cs, I have commented out this code. You can go ahead and add this in your application. Stop the plugin. You can add this add user page options. Here you can go ahead and look for the documentation in .NET 6 uh, website. The first parameter is the page name keeping in mind that it always considers the page in root directory which is pages here the page is root directory pages and the second one is the route you want to point to let's say i want to enable test here and here it is test or privacy so let me change it this test one let's say now let me run the application if you see privacy points to test one by default and if we change to privacy.dsl, that also works. It means you have now two ways to point to that page. Now the default URL will not work, which was privacy. Thank you, everyone. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel. It encourages me to build more such videos. Thank you.